Hello guys, it's Breaking NCS here, and uh, I am so freaking tired right now that I, I haven't been this tired in a long time. I guess I got really lazy on that vacation, and now coming back to work, I wasn't prepared for the, uh, God, just for the, all the physical activity, and the, oh my God, it's a good thing I have that job, because I'll tell you what, man. Can you? Add, I would have had a heart attack and died by now if I didn't have that job. I'll say that right now. Anyway, and, and the reason I'm so tired today, I think mostly, is because yesterday I was just getting ready to go to bed. It's like three in the afternoon when I noticed that the Star Wars trilogy is on TV. And it's funny because I actually haven't jumped that video where I said, "Why would you watch that on TV if you have the DVDs?" Well, I used to have the DVDs, but stupidly, a couple years ago, when I was in trouble and I needed money, I ended up selling them on eBay. So, and I haven't, like, seen them in stores lately where I could buy them again, but, but I haven't really had any huge, like, craving to watch them, I guess, you know. Anyway, well, they were on yesterday. It was like, and, and another thing that's hilarious about that is that I keep quoting a certain part of Star Wars in my Metroid videos. Or, not my Metroid, but, like... What part, what, what line did I quote? Oh, the line, there's something alive in here, that's your imagination, kid. Yeah, I keep quoting that in my Final Fantasy X LP. And this is after not seeing the movie for like two or three years now. And then wouldn't you know it, I turn it on, the movie's on cable, and it's right on that part. It's, it was on the part where they were getting squished in the trash compactor. I didn't actually hear him say the line, he had already passed that point. But still, it's just weird. So I looked and sure enough, Empire Strikes Back was on after that, and then the Return of the Jedi. So I watched basically two and a half of them, all except for the first half of A New Hope, and didn't get to bed until 8 o'clock, so then I had to wake up at 2, so... And then I couldn't sleep because stuff kept happening, I started getting heartburn while I was sleeping. I mean, that's what I get for drinking all that Coke, I guess. I don't think it's the Coke, really, that causes it, though. It's a certain thing that I'm eating. Because it happens so irregularly, like only once every two weeks, but when it happens, it's definitely happening. It's like, wow. I might be a pig in a blanket, but that didn't happen when I cooked them last week when Impolo was over here, so I don't know, man. Anyway. Oh, my ears, they're still wet because I just got out of the shower. Yeah, the shower actually perked me up a little bit. Perked up my nipples, too, so I'd like to show you that, but... I'm just always combing my hair. I read somewhere, actually, on a pop-up video of Celine Dion, it's all coming back to me now. Um, that was the song. That was the song title. It's called It's All Coming Back to Me Now. And in the pop-up video of that song, they say excessive hair brushing can cause premature baldness. Well, it hasn't happened for me yet. And I said you're combing my hair all day long. Ooh, there's three hairs there. One, two, oh, that was the same one, but two hairs. <sighs> Could do this all day. And I just uploaded a Metroid Prime part, but I think it failed. Like I said, upload failed due to unknown error. And but it's showing up in my videos, but it's like processing, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna delete it. Yeah. Uh, let's try that again. And that video took forever to upload as it is. Jeez, and I was in here falling asleep at my computer while I was uploading. <laughs> I was trying to watch the video back and figure out what to call it. I just couldn't come up with a title for it. I was like, damn. I call it Ice Age, but wow. Let's play Metroid Prime Part 29, Ice Age. Oops. I also hate it when you do that, like when you capitalize the first letter in a word, and then you capitalize the second letter along with it by accident. I always do that. Going back to Fendrana, Fendrana for the most important upgrade yet. Which, of course, we don't get in the video because I was in a 10 minute video. We only got like three more of those 30, 31, 32. I don't have anything else to say, really. I don't feel like there's that much that I could cut out of this. It's all been just pretty easygoing nonsense, really. But yeah, I was just so tired. Yeah, and then, and then, like, right at the end of Return of the Jedi, when Darth Vader changes his mind and goes back to the good side, and he picks up that stupid Emperor, I started clapping like, like, my. Oh, I. I I screwed up my hand, man. I clapped so hard that I think I ugh, probably broke a bone. But then good, you know. Good that I broke a bone.
or not not good that I broke a bone, but good that I got that much force that I feel that strongly about that what he's doing is right. You know, the only other thing that can make me clap that hard in a movie is an untamed heart when two guys are trying to rape her and Christian Slater comes up and he just freaking he just, just wails on it. He takes that wooden plank and he just sinks it into that guy's ribs. And it's just like, fuck. Good. Ugh. There, there, I think there's like a third thing that I clap at really loud and I can't remember what it is. Now. I've been clapping a lot more lately, like in movies and stuff. Even if I already know what's gonna happen. If I'm just, if I'm happy that it's happening, I'll start clapping. Like, I got the claps, man. Oh, yeah. See, I'm doing it in these videos. You can hear me doing it in the background. Doing it when I'm playing Family Feud. Doing it in the tent. Sorry, that, that's one of my memes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was jealous of this girl once. Or uh, jealous of a guy who had this girl that I liked. And they always went camping together. So I was ranting one day about how they're probably having sex right now, doing it in the tent, you know. And that became a meme, doing it in the tent. Anytime I said doing it, follow up, I thought they, I would say doing it in the tent. Anyway, there's nothing much else to say. There really isn't. I've said enough already. And I don't want to have to edit too much. I, I think I must say that in every single video. I don't want to have to edit too much, so we're going to try to keep this short. But then I end up sitting here talking for like 15 minutes. You know, I tried to do, uh, I'm sorry about there was no video on the 12th, or the 14th, and I missed a day. Yeah, I missed, a, I didn't put up a video on the 14th, I tried to make one. It was actually a video response to White Mage Serenia's little rant that he had. And, I just, like, the, the response that I made ended up being like 35 minutes long, I'm not kidding. So while I was trying to edit it down, I eventually just fell asleep in my computer, it was so boring. Like, the video response is so boring. I'm just, I don't think I can even still have it on here. So eventually I just scrapped it and I said, okay, never mind, I'm not going to post this. But by then, I lost all motivation to make another video, so I just said, well, screw it, I'm not making one today. And, uh, and then I skipped the wrong day on this, uh, on Nintendo Capri Sun, I skipped the wrong day. I thought it was Sunday when it was really Saturday, and I went and didn't upload a video that day. So then I uploaded one on Sunday to make up for it. Now today's Monday. And uh, Wednesday is my only day off this week, but I have no prior engagements of any kind. Well, there's a lot of questions I need to answer about Final Fantasy X that uh, that I will answer in Part 7 once I get that recorded. But that, that video is probably not going to be up for a while. So in the meantime, I'll explain a few quick things here. Yes, it will be a 100% run of the game. I'm not going to do X2. I will beat the Luka Goers at Blitzball in that first game. And... Uh, that's like pretty much the three biggest questions I got. The other things were like comments where people would say like, you know, stuff about like they're glad I did this. And really, when the more I think about it, the more I realize this really is the LP, the first LP in a while that I've really done for myself. Other LPs I've done because I felt like there was a kind of a demand for them, but Final Fantasy X is one of those where I've really, like ever since like three years ago, I've wanted to do it. and. And doing it now, I've really felt a lot of catharsis already just from doing the first six parts. So, <laughs> so anyway, gee, do you have to burp like that, dude? Do you seriously have to burp? And the only other thing that I really was going to comment about was like Titus, um, Titus, I don't know. <laughs> this is, according to the comments, most people seem to like Titus better, so I'm probably going to go back to Titus. Titus. You know, but, uh, I was saying that he was like the first cheerful Final Fantasy protagonist we'd had in a while. And of course, right away when I said that I thought of Zidane for Final Fantasy IX or Zidane, but I think I think I'm pretty sure that's Zidane. I'm already used to hearing HC Bailey say Zidane, so but um yeah, he, he was cheerful too. But I he was like I I I I feel like he was maybe a little bit too young for me to identify with. Like he was all into girls and stuff. Like in the early parts of the game, he's saying, "Well, she's cute and she's in danger, and that's all that matters." And just all this stuff about girls. And uh, I, I guess that he could have been a lot worse, though. But he was a really good character, though, as the as the story moved along. Now, one thing that one problem with um, one problem with Titus, one big problem, is that he really doesn't change from the beginning of the game to the end. He he does in some ways, but. Uh, 
But then by the time you get to the end of the game, you realize it doesn't matter if he did, which I'm not going to spoil anything, but <laughs> whatever. I never did torture you. Sorry about that. Here, I'll torture you now by forcing you to watch me eat my M&M. Here we go. Yep. See you later. <coughs> That's the tired version. Thank you.